Good morning, V-Stab Fishing Nation. It is Saturday, August 12th, eight o'clock in the morning. We got an outgoing tide. Uh, I'm gonna head out to the reef. It looks like it's gonna be pretty calm. So I'm gonna head out to the reef, see if I can uh, get into the crazy South Jersey mud marlins, flounder. Uh, it's just not been, not been a great season for me, but uh, regarding flounder, uh, well, we're gonna give it a shot. You never stop trying, right? So we're gonna get out there. Um, I may actually sacrifice the first short flounder I get, well, the short first slot flounder I get um, and cut strips on it. I'm not sure. I haven't done that in, I really haven't used flounder belly in, in I can't even tell you how long. So I may give it a shot. I just hate to waste a flounder that I should be eating as bait. Um, so, but uh, it appears that the fish are really biting on meat strips. And that being the case, um, I don't have any extra bluefish and uh, I haven't gotten any squid. So it is what it is, right? I just gotta give it a shot. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm not 100% sold, I'm gonna do that. But we're gonna get out there, we're gonna give it a shot. So uh, stick around, see you back out there, probably on the way. Like, subscribe, say your prayers to the man upstairs. Let's get out there and go fishing cause this summer is coming to a close. Click down below, subscribe, thanks. Drift we got, go from there. Pull the, uh oh, pull this, the sock, the drift sock, a Rooney. That's the way I roll them up, roll them up, roll them out. See which way we're drifting, figure this out. Good to go. Alrighty. I don't like the way that's sitting. But this had a bait holder uh, barb on it. I think it does, I think. Yep, of course, it's all the way up into the neck. Push them all the way up in there. Come on, baby. Get up in there. Yep. Yep. All right. See what we can do here, guys and girls. Tide's going against the winds. We have a tight 
tide's going out going tide wind's coming out of the south so we got wind against tide right the tide goes north to south in the ocean so we'll see see what happens here see what my drift speed is 0.65 i'm happy with that first drop so guys i'm not going to the spots that i've been going to um and the reason being is uh it's just too too much structure too sticky i'm getting beat up over there and uh so i'm going to change things up a little bit now i have to see which way my drift is going i may not like this i might have to reset because there's a couple ledges out here that i want to hit and as it stands right now i don't know that i'm hitting them so we'll see we'll see but it is packed out here oh my goodness man and there are boats of all sizes out here all shapes and all sizes these are the days again you know being out in the ocean where i wish i had a v bottom or a v hole you know something more seaworthy than a carolina skiff but we're here you know we're here we made it all right let's see what we uh what we do here all right we're coming over some structure coming over some junk around fish on Got the right head shakes. Got the right head shakes. Oh, I'm about to get get shook up with a uh, boat's wake. Yeah, that's a small fish. All right, he's going to go back. He'll go back. Oh man, are they cold. Wow, they're, wow. Super cold. Oh, this guy's hooked good, guys. All right, let me get uh, let me get him on hook. All right, guys, that's one. Guys, I'm not, not going to lie. That little guy was coming close to getting cut up for bait. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I, you know, everybody's telling me, Bobby, got to use use strips, use flounder belly. I can't. I just can't do it, man. It's just, it's just not the right thing to do. That little fish, that little fish there, in my eyes, that little fish there, in three years might turn out to be somebody's. Four years might turn out to be somebody's best fish ever, right? And I killed him. To what? Catch other flounder? I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I used to do it. I'm not gonna lie. Many moons ago, oh, the first short fish that came on board my old boats, that thing was a sacrificial lamb. I, I just, I can't do it. Can't do it. And I will show you guys. I'll show you guys my rig when I pull it up. I'll pull it up right now because this is this is right afterwards, right? Here you go. I'll show you. So nobody says, "Oh, you shut the camera off." I was having a hard time getting him unhooked. But look, guys, there you go. There's no strips on there, right? No strips. No strips. I just can't do it. I, can't, I cannot bring myself to kill, kill that little fish to catch more fish. Integrity. What's the definition of integrity? Doing the right thing even when nobody's watching. Now, here's the thing. Everybody's watching. I have a YouTube channel, right? So, what lesson would I actually be showing, you know, and teaching anybody? I, I, it's just to do the wrong thing. I can't do it. I just could not cut that fish up. And I know these fish are hitting on meat. So if I'm going to use meat, I should have just went to the store and got myself some squid strips. But I couldn't do it. All right, guys. Let's keep at it. I do have something on here, I think. Yep. That ain't big. Whatever it is, it's not big. It's not shaking. I think I got something on. Oh, yeah, I do. Sea bass. Foul hook sea bass in your eyeball. Oh boy. You made a mistake there, dude. You made a mistake, Jake. Oh man, yeah, you got caught in the eye. You got caught looking at it, Pally. There you go. Sorry, bud. I didn't make you bite it. So far, that's two fish you went off of that. Uh, what color is that? sardine color hmm looks like the orange isn't isn't producing up here what's going on here skinner 
guys. I'm about to turn this into a uh, sea bass trip just for fun. Just give me one. I just want one decent flounder. That's all I want. One decent ocean flounder. I'm just not meant to catch flounder this year. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I am meant to catch and pull some fish up off of this structure, the sunken ships and reefs. The rest of this trip was awesome. All right, down the bottom. Fish on. All right, set that hook a little better. Oh, got a little little guts to it. Uh, that might be a trigger. We'll see. We will see. Come on, baby. That could be a trigger. Went out to the side. Oh, sea bass. Sea bass. Hey, what? Not bad size for, for you know, inshore here. One on light tackle, man. I got even lighter tackle that I usually have. I take, but this is perfect. This was fine because I was going to use this for, going to use this for uh, sheep's head in the event that I went inside. This thing's this one's got eggs in them. So it's got its own natural chum. We'll let that right down. Bloop. Right back down, baby. Let's go. Go get them. If there is a little bit of uh current, which there is, I don't want to go much heavier. Um on the uh the bottom sweeper jig. So let that get to the bottom. Once it stops, once it stops, I give it a crank or two up off the bottom. Boop, stops. Make sure you're wheeled up there. Crank or two up off the bottom. And now uh, let's wait. There we go. Fish on. Notice a small one. This puppy small. He's small. He's a smallie. All right. Another good one. Small. Oh, he caught it right in the eye. Oh, boy. I'm going to try whatever I can do to save you here, buddy, but I think you're losing that eye. I hate to say it. Ah. Let's get the hooker be goner. Mm -mm, see you later. <laughs> Let's put a little one on. See what a little one does. Now, big hook. Little, little bait. Little bait here. There's a big hook, too. Give it a shot. Let's see what happens. I buried a hook from the back through the belly. These are their eyes. This is their their the rear end. I've seen somebody come in through the shell and in through the shell portion near the eyes, towards the head, is supposed to be a little tighter, a little thicker. Um, but I've had this is my where my success has been. This is where my success has been, even sheep's head fishing. I come in through the back, the, you know, in through the back of the shell. And I come out towards the the tail. Oh, are you getting hits? So I didn't know I didn't go all the way to the bottom. <sighs> Alright, this thing just realized it was caught. <laughs> Come on. Little sea bass. Not that little. I mean, for out here, for back in here, four miles out, it's a good sea bass. I'll tell you what, if there were no regulations, that would be dinner. Two, three of them, you got yourself an incredible meal. But you gotta keep them regulated. All right, here we go again. Let's get back down there. So again, so if you're looking at these things, this is the head, right? Here's the head. 
That's where the eyes are. This is the tail. This part of the shell right here is a lot stronger, right? This is not as strong. But I've been coming through here. I haven't had any issues coming in. And like that, come right through. Let that hook puncture through. And it's, the hook is kind of hidden. They're going to have to suck it in a little bit. But we'll go from there. Oh. Now they are down there pounding, pecking away at it because it's a big one. That's the problem. That's when you'll get the little fish will peck away at it. If, you know, if the pecks stop for a while, then you most likely they stripped you. They cored it out. That, the pecks were there, pecks were there, now they're not there. Coming 60 foot of water, 66 foot of water over top of some nice structure. Oh, getting hit already. Pecking at it. It's amazing how they can peck at something so small and steal it. Oh, that's a good hit. Bang! Oh, there we go. <sighs> Man, little guys. Oh, it's on my ear. Don't touch my ear. Another little one. All right. See you, bass. Give him the buffet. Give him the buffet. It's the Big Mac. Right there. That's the Big Mac. That's a quarter pounder with cheese going down. Stand by. Oh, oh. <laughs> Shut the bail. Shut the bail. Oh, man. Oh, God. That was... Ah, it's still there. Wait, that was a heck of a hit. Heck of a hit for... I don't think anything's still there. Eh, maybe it is. Yep. Yep. Jeez. A little guy hit. I have a feeling that something else hit it. Man, a little guy hit like a freight train. All right, let's see. We put a let's put a big nasty one on there. I'm big. Put the big enchilada. You know, what? I'll put this one on. I'll hook this through. This part of the shell is supposed to be thicker, so strong, harder. So we'll go through there. See if that holds a little better because it's bigger. See what it does. All right. Let's pinch this off. All right, we got scent. Try something different with the hookup. Let's go from there. I gotta get myself in. Get back in soon. Drop till she stop. And give one, two cranks up off the bottom if you do. If you, that's what you're going to do. A lot of times, you see bass will hit on the way down. That's why I try to like feather it down. Nope, oh, they're already hitting. That thing got smacked on the way down. Alright guys, I got something big. I got something good on here. I thought I did, anyway. Oh man, I hope it's still there. Yep, man, that thing was not happy on, on the strike. Oh, because it's a togalicious. You got to keep them separated. That's a tog. Lady tog. 15 inches, I think they're supposed to be. 15 inches, see what she, see what she does. Let's see, come on, let's see how you measure up. You are not a keeper. Oh, boy. You are a keeper. You're a keeper tog. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Don't bite me. Let's see. Keep her tog. But it's a female. I'm not doing it. Keep her tog. All right. Keep her tog. Keep her tog, guys. There we go. Keeper tog. That's awesome. Building the bite. Building the bite. Tog are starting to move in. 
So well, this would be a whole different ball game now. If I had cr bigger crabs, green crabs, or or uh, white crabs, this would be a different ball game altogether. Let's go back through that hard spot. Hard spot. Come through. Pinch its butt. Boop. The old butt pinch. How about that? I'd have been bringing home tog for dinner. That keeper tog. You know why I had that keeper tog? Because I let it go all the way to the bottom and I let it sit there. Instead of suspending it, I let it sit on the bottom. Let's see if we have any more keeper tog want to come play. Oh boy. You guys, guess what? I think we got another tog. Mm, well, maybe not. I don't know. Oh. We're going to start letting this sit on the bottom and not suspending it because if there's tog down there, tog opened up on the first. That's another tog. Another female tog. Another another keeper. Another keeper tog. Ah, she's a little shorter. A little shorter. But it's tog nonetheless. We're going to let this sit on the bottom. This is turning into a tog trip. Mm. Oh, guys, how about that? Flounder turned into a tog trip. Now, this seat, that, that's real hard right there. So, I'm trying to get through there real hard. So, that's good. I don't know, maybe I did learn something. I'm still like going in this way, in through the shell, not in through the stomach and out the shell. I like in through the, in through the shell. It just works better for me. Let's get back down. Let's tighten up our drag you need tight drag if you're going to be cranking tog off of, and this is light this is light tackle i'm using you get something that's got any sort of weight to it i may be in problem when i have problems depending upon the structure get on the bottom and i come tight bottom come tight check your drag mm. pecs again come on let me good something pick it up and run with it nope i got a little too overzealous watch my rod watch the rod tip here there it is there it is oh that's a tug oh boy guys i got i locked my drag down pretty good and that pulled some drag on me that's a tog. All right, come on, baby. That's a tog. If it's not a tog, I'll eat a sand flea. Oh, God. I might be eating a sand flea. Oh, that's it. I think that's a big trigger. That's a big trigger fish holy mackerel that one's coming home that's coming home i'm having trigger for dinner tonight oh man that trigger's coming home you're coming with me little trigger fish a rooney caught trigger i'm having trigger for dinner trigger fish for dinner That's a good trigger fish. All right, what do we got going on here? All right, good trigger. That's a great size trigger. So guys, this is this is kind of an exotic. You know, great trigger fish. Somewhat of an exotic. Look at the teeth on this guy, man. He's no joke. He's no joke, and I can't get to this. There we go. All right, so let's do the. Oh man, my uh, oh my fish thing is uh, getting ready to break. All right, this guy's going to get bled. 
bled and I'm gonna get fed. He's getting bled and I'm getting fed. That's right. Let him bleed. He got blooded. Go into the hard part. Out. And along this center here, there's there's actually a scent like they call it a scent line on the one video I saw. I don't know that it's a scent line, but there is scent. So yeah, we'll call it a scent line. It's probably like their central nerve is uh, you know, almost like almost like their spine. You know, whatever fluids are in there. Spinal fluid, I don't know, but that starts to ooze right out as soon as you, uh, as soon as you um, pierce them. So let's get down. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Let's get at it. Come back. Yo, buddy. I turned this into a tog trip. Oh, I just, oh, I just lost everything. Uh, I don't know. Did I? Yep. I think I just lost everything on the wreck. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. All right, we gotta get back down there with another one ouncer. Get this thing on the bottom. Done, on the bottom. Hang on. Come on, Tog's gonna, oh man. God darn. Oh, I think I got something on, yep, shoot. It's probably a small sea bass. Oh, might be small tog. I tighten this drag down too. Could be small. Oh, no, sea bass. Okay. Guys, I'm only using uh, this is 15 pound Power Pro braid, uni to uni knot to uh, 20 pound. Seaguar red label fluorocarbon li fishing line, not leader. Okay, here we go. Let's get down there. Back down. Let's see if we can get one more toggle and we'll scoot out of here. On the bottom. Fish on. <clears throat> Oh boy, that might be a small tog. Yep, small tog. Man, I felt it. Small tog. Small lady tog. I'm not keeping a. I'm not keeping a female tog. If I'm gonna keep a tog, it's gonna be a male. It's gonna be a male. Good female. All right, one, two, three, let's go. Oh, that didn't work. This might, you might, you guys might drift by perfectly. For a cameo, a cameo appearance. <laughs> there we go. All right, fish on. Oh, that's tog. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Guys, Beast that Fishing Nation. We got Mike on board. Mike drift, drifted on bike. Mike playing this. He told me, Bob, I'm planning this. So I'm going to drift right by. Make my cameo appearance. You guys out of Delaware, Mike? Uh, we're at Summers Point. Oh, okay. Awesome. Uh, what year is your Cobia? Uh, 2020. I had a 90... What up? I had a 2020. Oh, really? I'm trying to think I well, what did I have? A 20? No, I'm lying to you. Okay. Well, I'm trying. I got married in 1990. Oh man, this is more dinner. Oh, what's it got? Uh, another trigger fish, another big one too. Yeah. Oh, yeah yep. Like Actually, I had. I think that's my Kobe. It was. Oh, oh, oh! Come around. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, I think my Kobe was. Uh... Why do I want to say? Oh, it's sticky stuff. I'm over some real crap. Um, yeah, I think my Kobe was a 2000. Really? 
2000, yup. Yeah, I got married 99. My Kobe was a 2000. Yo, Mike and Joe. Guys, it was so great meeting you out there. Thank you so much for subscribing literally four miles out in the ocean. You guys subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I love that boat, Kobe. One of my favorite boats that I ever owned. And again, guys, you are two absolute gentlemen. And it was my honor to share the water with you. That's two in there. Guys, thank you so much. You guys are my good luck charm. Get back over here. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Come on now. Yeah, buddy. I see it soon. Uh oh, uh oh, it's digging, it's digging. Let me loosen the drag up a little bit here. Oh, wow, okay, camels. Don't take much, man, for you to come up. I think you're gonna, oh, I'm gonna loosen the drag, and next thing you know, you, you put some, put some on your line. There's another one. Man, triggers are eating off the bottom. What's going on here? Man, I just don't like to mess with these things. I don't like to touch them, I don't like to hold them. Spiky little bastards. All right. Another one, another trigger. The exotics, the Jersey exotics. Oh man, he took off like a bat out of Babylon. Get this right away and i mean set the set the hook on itself and was pounding on me holy mackerel set the hook itself all right come on i'll see you soon gotta get a little jimmy houston <laughs> oh that's a male dog that's a white chin uh oh, he's getting measured. He's getting a measure too. He's getting a measure. I think they need to be 15. He's going to be close. He's going to be close. Going to be close. So I could just measure you just like this. Nah, he's a keeper. I think he keeps. I think he keeps. Fish. That's a good fish. All right. Oh boy. Let me loosen up the drag a little bit here for this thing. I got it up off the bottom uh, and kind of fizzled out. Fizzled out, but man, that thing was smacking the crud out of me down there. Tog. Lady Tog. Boop, boop. Lady Tog. All right, v Staff Fishing Nation. Turned out to be a good day. Flounder, this is not my year for flounder, but uh, man, listen, it's going to be my year for just about everything else. Definitely my year for sheep's head. We threw some tog out there today. We threw, uh, what else did we see? Tog, sheep's head, right, sheep's head, tog, uh, trigger fish, sea bass, and flounder. Four species day. Awesome. And uh, on sand crabs that I caught. So that's a good sign. So uh, stay tuned. If you could stop for a minute, click the subscribe button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll do a catch, clean, and cook on those two trigger fish. All right, stick around. There's the buffalo gear bag. It's got bladders in it, water bladders. You fill with ice, or you fill with water and they become ice. Oh, what do we got in here? We got two, I count them, two trigger fish. Cold as cucumbers, dead as doorknobs. Nice, nice. All right, Beast guys, fish we're going to I was gonna do a catch, catch clean, clean and, and cook, cook here, however, um, and guys, I forgot, I, I had to get home, same, so there's really nothing, shower, shave, nothing run back uh, out to Mike, the engineer's son's graduation from college party. Congratulations, Nicholas. So we're going to do a catch and clean and rock and roll here. Tough on the coldest table now. Very tough. So you want to start a couple different ways. You want to have a couple different knives, and I like using a... Uh, a little bait knife here to really get yourself through here so saw through here and literally i mean you're literally sawing through okay saw through there you're gonna come here 
there's their there's his trigger so i think we could stick it in here what are we gonna get over here just come like this and just ride this ride right down there god these are an exotic fish for us guys this is i mean you have these great trigger fish are as far down as florida uh up the up the uh Gulf of Mexico into Louisiana where they're actually regulated so that's kind of where we're going to go here with this just slide yourself onto here and then you just want to kind of slide like this all right try I'm trying to get as much here as I can this actually this little knife is doing the trick here their skin is like leather I mean like absolute leather I put the lotion in the basket like freaking leather like you could wear you make a purse out of their skin just keep guys i'm doing this a lot easier than that uh <laughs> those uh sheep's heads the sheep's that were really running me ragged all right who's calling me here all right mommy's calling stand by just a call from mom apparently up at home in blackwood gloucester county camden county up that way it poured so this is where it gets a little tricky here and what i think i'm going to do is i just if i remember correctly i just sawed right through right over was right here yep sawed right through that cut right through this if i can get to it Let's be, you know ever cognizant of where your fingers are right in regards to that knife there's one one side there's not that's not there's no meat in there there's a little bit of meat right there nothing you're getting to it's got junk in it there's just a little bit here big ones you might be able to get cheek meat i'm not messing around with that deal start at the tail right i like to work my knife i don't like to work the skin right some people pull the fillet i i like to work my knife just work it along that skin this skin is like leather absolute leather now there's gonna be a bunch of bunch of uh rib rib bones get rid of them you can find them and get to them get them out and then there's going to be bones in that cent that little center cut. So you might right here. Leave the skin down so you're not on anything dirty. Just want to go like this. Cut that. Cut that out. A little chunk of meat, but there's it's a chunk of meat that's got bones in it that are just horrible. That's and that there you go. That's it. Put them in a bag.